an interstellar community? I can't wait! <laughs> Vad är det för mycket? Just the tad. <laughs> Okej. Okay. Okay. When traveling to and in space, there are a number of obstacles to overcome. First, you need to break free from Earth's gravity, and then get through the friction of the atmosphere. And once you're out there, the distances between the celestial bodies are enormous. Just going to the moon takes a few days, and Mars is at least seven months away. If you want to go to our closest star, Alpha Centauri, you would have to travel at the speed of light for four and a half years. And as you probably know, going that fast is just not possible. But how fast can we go? In this episode, we will hear about one exciting project that has its aim set for our neighboring star. My name is Susanna Levenaupt. My name is Marcus Pettersson. And this is Have We Gone to Mars Yet? The speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. But how fast do spaceships go? The ISS moves at almost 28,000 kilometers per hour. And to leave Earth, a rocket needs to get up to about 40,000 kilometers per hour. As I said, light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. So if we're talking about going to Alpha Centauri, 4.5 light years away, even with the fastest spaceship on the market, it would take tens of thousands of years to get there. Well, in the future, it might not have to. With nanotechnology and laser beams, we could be there as soon as 20 years after liftoff. Avi Loeb is a professor at Harvard and one of the minds behind a project called Breakthrough Starshot Initiative. The Starshot uh, initiative aims to send a probe to the nearest uh, star system uh, so that uh, we can learn from up close whether it might have life there. The idea is uh, to send the probe uh, so that it will reach there uh, within our generation, within uh, a couple of decades. And since the nearest star is uh, four light years away, It means that it takes light four years uh, to bridge the gap between the sun and, and that star. Um, and so um, if we want the spacecraft to reach the star within, uh, let's say, 20 years, uh, it needs to move at a fifth of the speed of light. And uh, it's not possible to do so uh, if uh, the spacecraft carries its own fuel. And so the concept is to... Uh, Uh, shine a very powerful laser beam on a sail that is very lightweight uh, of the order of one gram in weight and um, make the sail uh, accelerate up to a fraction of the speed of light in the direction of the target. There are many technological challenges with this concept. Uh, they involve creating a powerful laser beam by combining a lot of small lasers. Uh, it involves creating a sail that is, on the one hand, uh, lightweight, but at the same time uh, made of strong material that can sustain the push by the laser. Uh, and um, also, uh, one would like to equip uh, the sail with uh, uh, electronics uh, that includes a camera, navigation device, communication device. And uh, so that eventually when a photograph is taken uh, of, let's say, the target planet, uh, that information can be transmitted to Earth and uh, received on Earth. The idea is that um, the electronics would weigh also roughly a gram, uh, similar to the sail. And uh, we do have, in fact, uh, that kind of electronics already exists in the guts of a cell phone. So that is uh, one part of the technology that is already here. Um, and uh, given that uh, uh, such a cell phone is worth hundreds of dollars, uh, in principle, we can uh, produce a lot of spacecrafts. That will not be very expensive and launch one per day, for example. Um, so the concept is to send out uh, 
relatively cheap uh, spacecrafts that are lightweight and send many of them. Uh, the basic parameters to achieve a fifth of the speed of light uh, with a spacecraft that weighs uh, of the order of a few grams, um, one needs to uh, shoot a, a laser beam that is um, 100 gigawatt over a few minutes. Um, and that's a similar amount of power uh, and duration that it took uh, for the space shuttle to lift off. And um, here, instead of giving that energy over a few minutes to the space shuttle, we are giving it to a single gram of material. And so that's what makes it achieve uh, a fraction of the speed of light. But it's a similar power requirement as was for the space shuttle. And then we want to focus it uh, on a sail that is a few meters in diameter, roughly the size uh, of a person, uh, at, out to a distance that is five times the distance to the moon. Uh, that's the distance over which uh, the sail will reach uh, a fifth of the speed of light. Uh, what are you hoping to find out there? Well, I think um, one reason I'm... Uh, uh, excited about the search for uh, life, be it microbial or technological civilizations out there, is um, that it we will learn a lot in the process of, of this search. So uh, we could uh, develop new technologies that would uh, have byproducts uh, that are quite practical here on Earth because we are pushing our imagination. We might also uh, discover that there are other civilizations that mastered this technology and then we can learn from them. Uh, my hope is that once the spacecraft leaves the solar system, we will find a lot of traffic out there, that we are not the only civilization that sent out such spacecraft. And uh, we might even hear a message back saying, welcome to the interstellar club. An interstellar community, I can't wait! Just imagine what we might learn. Even if we don't get to go there on holidays and actually see our neighbors face to face, they might be able to teach us how to solve some of the challenges we face today. And even though this is a technique that won't be able to take us to Alpha Centauri anytime soon, it is ideas, minds and dreams like this that helped us reach space in the first place. So keep on dreaming, building and reach for the stars. My name is Susanna Levenhaupt. My name is Marcus Pettersson. The music we play is composed by Armin Pendek. Have We Gone to Mars Yet? is produced at Beppo by Rundfunk Media in collaboration with Rymdkapital. Read more about them and how you can get yourself involved at havewegonetomarsyet.com. Hallo, Programm mit Judas auf Rundfunk Media.